All right, computer students, here we go. This is how you're going to make a simple animation. Now, you might want to start by making a simple animation to get a hang for how to do that before you start to create your elaborate uh, animation where you're turning yourself into some creature. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to start by just by making a simple, I'm going to start with making a simple new template or a new document, Canvas. Okay, and I'm just going to make it, uh, I'm going to go width of 800, I'm going to go height of 600. Okay, that's a standard, uh, it's a standard medium grade definition picture. So there it is. And it seems kind of big, but we're going to probably end up scaling it down uh, when we go to animate it. So first things first is we're going to have a background layer. And we're going to want to go ahead and start with uh, creating several different layers. So I'm going to go ahead and start by uh, making a new layer. I'm going to name it New Layer. I'm going to go OK. It's going to be Transparent Layer, and that's what you want. Okay, and next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to draw a stick figure. Okay, so I'm going to take my brush tool here. And because I'm using a mouse, this is going to be a little bit more difficult. And I'm just going to go ahead and here is my stick figure. It's doing kind of a dance thing. Okay, and he's going to be wearing a very pointed hat. And it's a Cyclops stick figure. So there it is. Okay, and that's what I'm going to start with. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this layer. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go in and I'm going to change a few things about the way that the guy looks. So I'm going to go ahead and change, uh, first and foremost, I'm going to erase on this the new layer copy. I'm just going to go ahead and erase this arm. Or i right, get rid of this here. I'm going to go ahead and erase this arm. And I'm going to make it look a little, I'm going to add, I'm going to make the arm come kind of straight out. Okay, so I'm going to, I'm going to name this first layer Stick Dude. And the second one, I'm going to go and I'm going to label it Right Arm Extended. Okay, and now I'm going to duplicate Right Arm Extended. I'm going to label it right arm down. Okay, and with the right arm down, I'm going to go ahead and erase or with his arm again. And this time I'm going to make his arm go down a little bit. Kind of like this. Okay, so when I lay these over top of each other, it should look something like that. And it looks kind of weird. It looks like he's got three arms and he's holding like a broomstick or something. All right. Now, I'm going to do the same thing uh, with the other side. I'm going to go ahead and activate the original stick dude. I'm going to go ahead and copy it. Okay, so I have... Uh, let's see. I wanted to copy stick dude. Let me make sure I've got these. Right arm extended, right arm down. That's not what I wanted. I'm going to go ahead and delete this one. I want just these three. Good. I want stick dude and I want to duplicate stick dude. And now I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and edit this to be left arm extended. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and erase his arm here. Now, the thing about doing this in a particular way is you want to go, you want to, um, you want to only work with one layer at a time. And ultimately, what you're doing is you're creating different frames. When this all comes together, it's going to look like he's waving his arms up and down. It's kind of what I'm going for. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to just, this is going to be left arm extended. So I'm going to go ahead and extend his arm out. Okay. And then uh, I'm going to go ahead and copy left arm extended.
some of the things that I'm doing, I don't necessarily articulate. So just make sure you're watching the video and making sure that the, act, the layers that are active or visible are the ones that you're working with. So then here's left arm, okay, uh, down is what we're going to do next. And I'm going to go ahead and erase this arm here. And I'm going to go ahead and make his arm go down. Kind of like that. Now, when all all of the backgrounds are visible, kind of looks like this. And what should happen is we're going to want to layer these layers, all of these layers, in such a way that it looks like his arms are like he, he shows up and he flails his arms and then he disappears. Okay, so he'll show up and then his and then we're gonna wanna arrange these so that his arms kind of do uh, kind of wave up and down. So I'm just gonna start with something like this. And Now the trick here is layering the layers just right. So let's just see what this would look like if I left the layers as is. To create an animation, you can go to, um, there's a couple of different things. First of all, you can actually see a sample animation in one of these, let me see here. Uh, it's in one of these folders. Let's see here. I'm pretty sure it's here somewhere. To be able to sample the animation. Here it is. Animation, and you can kind of see what the animation would look like. And so here's what the animation would look like with the frames the way they are. Okay, now I don't want the uh, the arms to stay. I want them to like show up and disappear. So I'm gonna gonna be able to uh, actually work with that. So I'm actually gonna go. I'm gonna save as. I'm going to save this first as an XCF file. Okay, and I'm going to, I always save it on the desktop and then just move it to where I want to later. So I'm going to save this on the desktop. Okay. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to save as okay, a GIF file. G-I-F. So I'm going to go ahead and save it. So here's the GIF image. And I'm going to save this as Flailing Man or Flailing Cyclops. So Flail... flail I don't know how do you write that. Flailing... Cyclops. There you go. Stay. Now it's going to ask me a few things about exporting. Okay, I want to save it as an animation. Okay, and I'm just going to convert it to grayscale. Alright, I'm going to export. And now here's kind of the animation features. First of all, you can loop it forever or unloop it. You can set the delay between frames. Okay. Um, now it also asks frame disposal. I want one frame per layer. So what that means is it's only going to show a layer at a time. I can have it so that they overlap, they overlay each other, and that's what you're going to want to do when you um, create your monster. You're not going to want what you've done. You're going to want it to add or accumulate. Okay, but I don't want to do that with the flailing man. All right. Okay, and I'm going to use disposal entered above for all frames. Okay, and I'm going to hit save. Now it showed up on my desktop as a GIF image somewhere. Here it is. So I'm going to go ahead and view it, and that's what it looks like. And it looks like he's kind of doing the wave with his arms. Now, that blinking effect is because the background blinks in and out. If I wanted to get rid of the background, I could change this a little bit. So I'm going to actually get rid of the background layer. I'm actually going to delete the background layer. I'm going to go to File, Save As. It still has all of the GIF, so I'm going to hit Save. I'm going to hit Replace. I'm going to save as an animation, convert to grayscale. I'm going to do everything I just did, hit Save. And now it's updated my flailing Cyclops so that when I do it, now it doesn't blink. It just looks like the guy is flailing his arms a little bit, which is kind of cool. And this is how you make an animation. Now, this is a very simple animation where you just, I just messed with his arms. If I wanted to, I could go back in and make layers that are different leg movements. I can make his mouth go up and down. Okay, I can make his hat tilt left and right.
You can do anything. You can even make it so that he's barfing. You can make it so that he's throwing a football. You can make it so he's jumping in the air. You can do anything you want as far as animation as long as it's appropriate. Okay? And I can zoom in on the animation so it looks bigger. Okay? This animation can also be added to websites. So I could actually put this on like the B Classroom website and it could just be like sitting there flailing his arms. And this just repeats and loops itself forever. Okay, so that's how you make a simple animation. I hope this gives you some insights into how to do an animation where you're going to change yourself uh, into some creature. Remember, it's all about the layers. Each layer, you just need to change one thing. Each layer is a cumulative changes. So... For instance, if you're gonna st if you're gonna change yourself into a gorilla, you would first maybe change your nose, and then have that fade into your cheeks, then into your eyes, then maybe into your ears, or maybe you have it fade from the outside in. Maybe your hair changes, then your ears, then your cheeks, then your eyes, then your nose, then your mouth last. Okay, there's several different layer possibilities there already. Okay, so this is how you make an animation. Thank you for watching. Have a good afternoon. Sure.